Hey guys, this is Boss of All Games Keen here, coming at you with another tutorial for how to set up Remote Joy Light and on your PSC and um, PSP display and PSP. So you want to open your browser. Don't think I have it in my history there. All right. So you want to run your browser. Whichever one you want, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome. It doesn't really matter. Just wait for that to load. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, open your new tab. <coughs> and you want to go to the sites that I'll put in the description. I'll put them in the description so you can go to them and download the files. So I'll just open them on this. This is the Remote Joy Light, I believe. And then for the PSP display. You have that, that one there. So I'll just copy all that, control C that, and control V that, and int. All right, so you want to download the files on these two websites. You have the remote joy light 0.19 and the PSP disp v0.6, 0.6, doesn't really matter what you call it. So you want to download those files and you want to unzip the remote joy light file which is originally a zip folder and the PSP disk v.06 it's a RAR file so let's close that up uh, I'll just actually leave that open and I have in here I have my remote joy light folder unzipped and I have the PSP display RAR so you want to go to your remote joy, into your remote joy light folder and see the remote joy light PRX you have on there. That's a folder you're going to need. So you want to plug in your PSP, just like I am to here. Just plug in your PSP, open it. Open folder to view files. And you want to go to your SE plugins folder. I'll just show you that there your SE plugins. If you don't have an SE plugins then make one. No caps and no spaces either. You want to drag that remote joy light PRX file, the one that you have here, sorry, the one that you have here, you want to drag that into your SE plugins, so that's there, and if you don't have a game, game 150 or VSH text document then make them and to do that you do right click new and text document there and call the first one VSH game 150 all capitals of course in the game and in those three files you want to add this line here the MSO semicolon forward slash sub plugins forward slash remote like that PRX one the one just stands for enabled zero stands for disabled so once you have that line in there, you want to close that and you want to do it in your Game 150 and VSH. So when you have that done, you can go back to the folder with uh, the PSP display in it. You can open that with WinRAR 7-zip. I use 7-zip. So I'll open that there. Open my PSP disk and make sure your PSP is plugged in for this still. You don't want to unplug it yet. Yes, you want to run that. Now I already have this on my PSP. I'll show you how the download installation thing is setting up. So I'll have to wait for this to close down. Da -da 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 -da. All right. So we don't need the 7-zip anymore because it's running and just keep that open. Okay, so while it, that's loading, not gonna take too long. I'll show you. I'll show you the where the PSP disk goes, and that's the PSP disk here. You can drag the USB host FS PRX into your subplugins folder, and add on to your game 
the same line, just ex instead of remote to a light, use USB HF U USB host FS, but don't remove the remote draw light dot uh, PRX line. Okay, still gonna need that, but I'll just help it run better. So now that's just the PSP disk file. Okay, so that's the download wizard open. You wanna agree to that, and you wanna do next, and you can save that into your program files. Yes, yes, yes. Install that. All right, I already, I already have it, so it's not gonna work. I'll just abort. But it's gonna, it's gonna install all these different files. The command prompt may show up a few times. Don't matter about that. But then when I ask you to copy your files to PSP, that's why you have it plugged in. So you can copy your files to your PSP, and so you can do that. I'll just unplug my PSP there. And I'll give you an example of remote joylight. I run the en underscore en file from the remote joylight folder because you don't want to get rid of that because it has the application that you run. And thinks that's responding. So I'll just open it again. All right. Sometimes it just causes a little bit of refreshing. I promise you, this has never happened to me before. It might scare you a bit that it's not working, but it does work. I'll just get it to work in a couple of seconds. BRB. Alright, guys, well, I got this working. I know what was the problem. When you have it on there, you want to go into your PSP disk, just like run it, and then you quit it by going to the quit button, and then when you come back, it should be on. <coughs> now, you might find that it may crash when you go into a game and it'll just stop or if you go into a save you know thing that shows up when it's like you have to load a save and it shows all the saves and it might crash for that there's nothing I can do but you can configure it by pressing the right click and then this window should show up there's a little save button down the bottom that might not be there see save okay and you have like joy key etc Joy etc. And that's the remote to light settings. So you just right click to open that. So I think this is really cool. I might do some PSP games. You can recommend some for me. Ones that I have already are Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories, God of War Chains of Olympus, Half Minute Hero, Worms Open Warfare 2, that's just a GB emulator, that's Kingdom Hearts, and that's Fancy Star Portable 2. And they're my hack files, as you know. And Naruto, that's just a demo I used to have when I didn't hack my PSP, but my little brother likes it, so. Anyway, this was Boss of All Games key in here. My background's cool, isn't it? Yeah, I have one of my photos there. It's a shame. You can look it up. It's PS3 buttons and all the rest of the Just look up in Google Images or something if you want it. And that's it. That's how to get Remote Drill Light working. And hope this helped you. Trying to give a catchphrase. This is Boss of All Keys. See you next time.